guilty as charged. Casey Hatch now stands convicted of two counts of second degree murder for the deaths of a mother and daughter who died after he set fire to his house. Good evening, I'm Cynthia R. Snow. KPLC's Teresa Schmidt was in the courtroom as the verdict was read. Casey Hatch not only set fire to his trailer where Marie Bork and two of her children were staying, but when a deputy asked him if anyone was inside, he said no. Marie Bork and her daughter Sky Smith died while his son did survive. Family members are pleased he's convicted and never believed he was insane. He was not insane. He knew what he was doing. He knew. A lot of anger in me, but I also got to remember God said to forgive, and it's hard too, and I know he understands that. We'll never gain, we'll never get them back, but at the end of the day, justice was served, and I'm, I'm, I'm glad of the, the, the verdict. I'm very glad of the verdict. The evidence showed Hatch did suffer mental illness, including schizophrenia. But prosecutor Charles Robinson argued he still knew right from wrong. Robinson says the evidence suggests it was going to be a murder-suicide when Hatch backed out, yet held the door closed, keeping Marie and the children trapped. Based on the circumstantial evidence that came out at trial, it, it looks like Mr. Hatch would have been the only reason why she wouldn't have been able to open that door. And, and it looks as if Mr. Hatch was going in to make sure that they passed away or were unconscious. However, defense attorney King Alexander is convinced Hatch was insane when the fire was started. Casey Hatch is not evil, and he did not mean to hurt those people. He had no ill will for them at all. This is like one of the most egregious cases of no good deed goes unpunished because he took them off the street and gave them a home, and he meant them nothing but goodwill. King expects the Louisiana Appellate Project to pursue an appeal for Hatch. Teresa Schmidt, 7 News. Hatch is to be sentenced on July 21st. He faces a mandatory life sentence on each count of second-degree murder.